On today's episode, we're going to replace the fan on a Quest 2. So this headset was sent in to us with an overheating issue, and if you turn the headset on, you actually get an alert that the fan isn't working properly. This is a fairly common issue, and one thing that we see cause this a lot is dirtiness and debris in the headset, but also just that the fan isn't working properly. The fan itself is a pretty simple unit, and if the motor goes out, well, it won't cool your headset anymore. From time to time we'll get these in and they'll be clogged with dirt and dust, and then other times the individual blades themselves are just broken. Of course, again, the motor could just stop working entirely. So to start, we're going to take off the faceplate and the facial shield so that we can access the fan. I'm going to start with my T2 screwdriver, and we're going to remove the six T2 screws that are around the outside of the facial shield. Now that all my T2 screws are out, I can pop the facial shield off. I'm going to take my pry tool and wedge it in the side here and pop the clips that are on each side. And then we're going to lift from the nose up. We're going to undo the ribbon cable latch for the proximity sensor and pull straight back. Now I can use my Phillips screwdriver to remove the five screws that hold in the faceplate. Now that I've taken the screws out, we can remove the faceplate. I can grab at the top corner of the seam here and just pull back. We'll do the same thing on the other side, and the faceplate should just come undone. Solely based on my observation here, it doesn't look like there's any fan blades that are broken, and it doesn't look like the headset's overly dusty or dirty, so we have to assume that the motor's just failed on this unit. In order to remove the fan, we have to remove a couple things that sit on top of it, namely the Bluetooth antenna that's attached to this retaining bar here, and also this retaining bar that holds in the battery cable, this camera, and the charge port cable. We'll go ahead and remove those now. This Wi-Fi antenna is hooked into this retaining bar, so I'm just going to lift that out and remove it. Now that those two items are removed, we can take out the last two screws that hold in the fan. This one is a Phillips screw. So we'll take that one out first. This screw in the middle here is a T2 screw. So we'll use the same screwdriver that we used to remove the face shield. This LED indicator is just adhered on here. So we need to pop it up with tweezers or a pry tool. Now we can lift up just slightly on the shell to remove the fan. And we'll pull that cable straight out. Just like that. And now we can install our new fan, and hopefully it'll resolve that overheating issue. Getting this cable back in where it needs to go can be a little tedious. I like to use tweezers and line it up just like that. Now I'll go ahead and put the rest of the screws back in. Now that everything's in place, we can turn the headset on and make sure the fan spins. There we go. Good as new. Now we can put our faceplate back on. 
Make sure that it's clipped all the way around the outside and there's no gaps, no wires in the way. Now we can put our face shield back in. We just need to line up the proximity sensor just like that and close that latch and then we'll clip it back in just like that and now we can put our screws back in place. And that's all there is to it. Now the fan's working on this. We're not getting that overheating air and it's ready to go back to its owner. Guys, I hope this video helped and I hope you learned something. Remember, if you are having an overheating issue with your headset or you're getting that internal alert that your headset is overheating and needs to be serviced, uh, it could just be a simple fan issue. Could be as simple as one of the fan blades being broken or just being dirty on the inside. In a worst case scenario, the motor is broken and that fan needs to be replaced. If you guys can think of any other videos that you'd like me to do, any other repairs, teardowns, or tutorials, please leave it down in the comments below and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.